Greetings! Today I will show you how to batch process files in Adobe Bridge. Bridge to a large extent has been replaced by Lightroom. It gives you a lot more controls. Lightroom is kind of in between Bridge and Photoshop, but there's still a lot of things that Bridge is good for. One is previewing images. I have opened up a folder here from a recent shoot. There's a lot of images in it and the client wants some small images to preview. So instead of going in and adjusting these all by hand, I am going to send her a batch of images that I have prepared in Photoshop Bridge for her to choose from. Real quick and simple. I'm in Bridge now. What I need to do is I need to select the images that I'm going to send. I will click on one, then hit Command A to select all the images. I will go up to Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. Now in here, you have various options. You can select the image to process, which I've already done by hitting Command A. You can adjust just the first image and then have Bridge do those corrections to each of the other files. I do that sometimes. Most of the times I leave that unchecked. Next, you select a location to save the processed images. I have a folder that is called to burn where I put all of my images once they've been processed. This particular situation, I'm going to save them as JPEGs so anybody can open them. You have options as PSDs, as TIFFs, and then I want to send them small files. So instead of just converting them to JPEGs, I will resize them. I've already chosen an image size of 800. I can easily go in here and change it to 600 if I want, but for now I'm going to leave it at 800. I have the file selected, I have my type of file, and I have the size I want. Now all I do is hit run. And these will be processed fairly quickly. And then once these are finished, we'll go over to my to burn folder. And there you can see a folder that's named JPEG. And if I open this up, there are all my images, but they're much smaller. These can all be easily emailed between various people. Another thing that you can do if you don't want to send individual files, but want to send a contact sheet, you can still use Bridge. You go to Photoshop, Contact Sheet 2, and this will set the images. There's 45 images selected. I'm going to use an 8 by 10 at 300 DPI, and then down here as far as the thumbnails, I've got three columns and three rows. That looks good to me. I'll hit OK using these same images. It'll take a second to process. So now you can see where I have the contact sheets from the shoot. Fairly straightforward. Right now, all I have to do is close these. They've already been named contact sheet one, two, three, four, five, and email them to the client. Hopefully this helps. More to come.